everything is going to be all right. <laughs> and you know why? Because I got mucho tea in this house. <laughs> Come on, raise those bones. We're going to get some tea into you. Tea makes everything better. Come on. <laughs>
things aren't as heavy. You might have said something that yeah, you apparently shouldn't have said. Um, you know, there might have been an event that you're embarrassed about and that it kind of replays in your mind, you ruminate on it, you know. You know, the word ruminate, it comes from cows chewing the cud. They chew over and over again. So when we ruminate, as humans, we think of the past and we, we keep regurgitating it and it keeps kind of, you know, repeating and repeating and it wears us down. I think everybody has an experience of that. Eh? So anyway, if you if you think back to something that happened recently, it could have been, I don't know, somewhere w where you embarrassed yourself, where you think you embarrassed yourself. But if you think back to that, okay, it's a memory, right? That's all it is. It's a memory. It's just a memory. Now, as I said earlier, more traumatic memories will hold more of an energetic charge in the body. You know, they, they're embodied, but these type of memories can be just memories that replay. There's not that much of a charge. There might be a little bit of a charge, you know, like I'm, I'm a little bit embarrassed or I shouldn't have said that. But anyway, if you can, if you can look at that, if you can look at that memory, just like the memory of having breakfast this morning, or maybe, I don't know, um, a holiday last year that you were enjoying, it's just memory, you know what I mean? So you can kind of just put it into that category, yeah, this thing happened, it was embarrassing, but it's just a memory. And then eventually what happens is the memory might come back and it might come back again, but it loses its, it loses its charge, as I said, it loses its um, grip. And so it just becomes like a mind movie. It'll pass your mind and it'll fly by. Because, when I get into this, what we are at our core is awareness. And what awareness is, is it's like, like as I said earlier, you're present, you're here, you're real. You know, you're sitting here listening to me. Your ears, like you can hear me. <laughs> you can see around the room you're in all that so that's the beautiful thing about life actually that you know you can you, you can actually see that the past is, is sort of it has like a dream quality and you know that memory is very sketchy anyway you know they've done studies on memory and um i remember watching one show on youtube i think it was an oprah winfrey show where they had a classroom with students and um they had a guy just like randomly run into the class and kind of attack the students and run back out. And then they asked the students, and I think you might be able to still find this um, on YouTube, probably will. And they asked all the students to describe the guy who wasn't wearing any ski mask or anything like that. And everybody described him differently. Height, race, everything. Everything. Like it was just mad. It was just like nobody actually, no, fair enough, they were traumatized, but still like, scientists have proved that like there are memories are very sketchy you know we they're kind of i don't know they're kind of like as i said little movies that don't link up properly sometimes and you can have two different people that saw the same event and you know come up with completely different stories and different viewpoints as well plus people living in we all live in our own reality tunnel you know we all see reality in our own way everybody in the planet has their own unique reality which is extra cool when you really think about it. So yeah, so you can you can view the past like that. You can view the past as um as a movie, and it'll kind of lose its charge. Now this does free up a lot of energy in your mind, right? And I know this from experience. Like it, it does, it frees up a lot of um. It's like um like an awakeness. It's like you feel more awake because um, you know we apparently experience up to 40,000 thoughts a day which is crazy when you think about it like imagine all the humans around the planet just like boom 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 being bombarded with thoughts so when you start like separating yourself a little bit from that it frees up a lot more you can imagine having a day where you're not thinking back at I shouldn't have done this I shouldn't have said that this happened this is you know if you can like if you can kind of take that out of your life you do feel like you've a lot more life in you. you know you can feel very young you can feel very young and vibrant
but it's um it's um it's sort of like a practice and um but it's not at the same time i mean you don't have to sit in a corner meditating looking at a wall as far as i'm concerned you don't you know <laughs> you really don't you can just be aware of this and again like if if it's too heavy you you go about you know you go through certain channels that are more uh, equipped to help you anyway so we go to the future right and so the future hasn't happened and when the future comes it comes as this again the present moment they can like the future can never ever happen and you you really have to sit in that and you can think about it you have never seen the future you know what i mean the past is a memory and the future just doesn't happen because this is the future okay now this is the future and this is the future so the past is always falling away and the future is always now and if you if you take that in you can get very very relaxed as well because you know it, it just takes an awful lot of anxiety and worry away from you it really does so you're, you it's like your hair and you have to do the tasks that are in front of you like you, you know yourself if you're having a coffee in your coffee shop and you might be writing an assignment or you might be playing an instrument or whatever and you, and you get you get lost in that like you know you you come you come away from the past and the future and you you come into a flow flow state is what it's called and all of this as well is backed by science you know this is the beautiful thing about this i mean um you buddhist monks and yeah, indian um, gurus and stuff like this for years it's just that sometimes some of it got too much too flowery and a lot of that too had i think like personally i think a lot of it had to do with the um, new age movement coming in there's nothing wrong with that but it, it's just more poetical you see there's just more words that can get more confusing and more um poetical but like like scientists have hooked um tibetan monks up to machines and watch their brains change because of meditation you can see them on youtube as well drain wet towels on their bodies like they're able to control the temperatures of their body and that. so um it's actual fact you know mindfulness actually affects the brain it wakes up parts of the brain it relaxes the body it it, it is it is a it is a fang it's a real fang so but with the mindfulness, like, I mean, I, again, uh, I think one thing about mindfulness is that it, there's a sense of trying to be present or trying to be in the here and now all the time. And when you really get into it and when you really look into it, there's no need to do that either. You know, there's no need to try to be present. Because if you just sit here with me now for, say, like 10 seconds, just 10 seconds. what it is is it's a relaxation into where you already are you know so you're not going forward you're kind of you're just dropping back and another beautiful thing about this is that is that there's no hierarchy you know there's no one better than you there's no one knows more than you there's no one it's just like when it comes to these matters it, it, it is just not a thing no one knows more than you no one can really teach you anything they can point you to they can point you in the way they can say if you do this this would happen and you might notice things in that but yeah like think of it when you go to a concert right when you're at a gig or whatever you're in that moment you know that's where you feel so good that's where you're like that's where your body is alive that's where you feel like you're there you're present the music is full people are dancing you know the music is is everywhere your body is you know you feel excited um it's like even when people go on different rides you know like in disney and stuff that's why they do it like if the skydiving is another one you know you're you're present you're you're really yourself so yeah um but you don't need to jump out of planes and <laughs> you don't need to do all that stuff you can just do as i said earlier you can just drop back you can just drop back into yourself and and the thing is like when you do that there's a certain peace around you you know it's everywhere it really is 
when you just drop back, you just fall back. And there it is. Every time. Every time. I was reading a, a Rumi quote. Quote. Very, very Irish. But I was reading, I was reading one. Um, sorry, I, I can't remember what way it went. But it, the, the gist of it was like, come home, come home, come home. It's always there, come home. And that is true. Every time you drop back, it's there. There's no need, to, there's no need for anything else. Like, it's just dropping back in, and as I spoke about last time, you can drop down into your body as well if your mind is very, very active. You can drop down into your body and um, feel the peace that way. And then, and then you come to the present moment, which is it's very interesting because it is a concept. You know, I remember um, one of the first times I heard about the present moment. I was young, like I was a kid, uh, and the first thought that entered my mind was where is this present moment and it took me a long time to find out that I was right as a child I knew there was no such thing as the present moment because if there's a present moment like alright this is the present moment and where is it gone now oh, I spoke so it's gone now oh there is and it's gone now. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's constantly falling away. And that might seem a bit confusing, but when you really grok that, when you get it in, like when it, when it, when you feel that internally, when you when you really f know that, then it gets even more um, relaxing. It gets really relaxing because you don't have to find anything. So you don't have to worry about the past. You don't have to worry about the future. And you don't have to find the present moment. Um, yeah so and it, like even you know little bits of this little bits of it can free up every time like every time you drop back into that when you come back um, you'll come back a little more free every time you don't have to go forward into something to come back to be free you drop back into something and if you come back you'll be free you'll be more free you know what I mean so it's like you're tasting something and you bring it back then and it's like it's like it washes through your body that's what happens really and you can find like like um um muscular pain in your shoulders or tension in your shoulders or um pains in your chest like heart like not not like chest pain like physical but there might be hurt there you know some people feel hurt. I, I used to feel a lot of that myself like in my in my heart area I'd feel a kind of a loneliness and um, I know that's resonating with people now as I'm saying that, like you can feel that. And another thing about that is, if you can, and again with the caveat of like, you know, I, if you can't, you can't, and that's it. That's it. Don't take my advice. Like, But if you can, if you're a person that feels that you can feel that pain, that's like, that's where, like when you put your attention in there and you don't try to manipulate anything, you just you just sit with your pain. And if you can sit with your pain and just like be, it's, it's almost like an observer, you know, you're just like sitting there and you're watching it and it'll come and it'll go because everything comes and goes. I mean, one thing that is certain about this world is that everything is impermanent. This, this again is science, like everything is impermanent. The only thing that is not impermanent is what is ever inside you that knows there's no impermanence. <laughs> We don't know what that is, but it has to be there, otherwise you wouldn't know what change was. Like if, uh, yeah, you just wouldn't know what, what change is or was or whatever. So yeah, so that's my little talk in time. And I hope it's not too confusing. Because I, like I, I, I'm, as I said, I'm not into um, too much jargon around this stuff. Not at all. And I don't, and I don't believe in hierarchy. I, I don't believe in authority. I don't believe in anything like that. Because I know, in my heart, that people have like, like all of us. Think about it, right? We came out of out of the universe, right? Some people think we were born into the world, but you actually came out of the world. So you are part of the world. So everyone is part of the world. Also, it like things go wrong for. For certain people along the way, you know, things happen. There's lots of situations that can happen. 
there's so much um variables that can that can change a person's consciousness that can veer them off in a direction you know where they were born you know disadvantages all that stuff can happen but even at that like people you will see that a lot of um you know a lot of people that suffer seem to find happiness and that has happened down through the ages it has happened you can read about it it's just it's a very common thing that happens and there's one lady you could read about actually her name is Byron Katie and if you read about her story um, it's it's just unbelievable because it shows you how much suffering this woman went through it was unbearable suffer, suffering and in a split second her suffering left her um, it's because she saw the world in reverse because what, what we're looking at actually in the world everything is backwards and they're not going to get into that now maybe some other time everything you look at is backwards and that's what happened to her like so everything like everything you see is and is not if it is it is not as well at the same time and that's what happened to her now she um she helps so many people around the world i actually used her um methods as well for a long long time like it must have been a year maybe of um of um investigating how i judged people and you know all that kind of stuff I, I went after my ego with a big time you know and uh it was a very interesting experience and a lot of it was physical you know it was like real physical pain when i when i challenged my beliefs about people and eventually i came to see that anything i said about someone or anything i do say about someone is me being reflected back that again that's more that's another story and it's it's not as as uh spiritual as you might think either you know so anyway, yeah, that's my talk. Uh, I think I said that already. So it's just about time and it's it's worth investigating. If you want to be free from things that you feel that are just dragging you down a bit, you know. And freeing up even a little bit of that space, even a little bit of that. Every time you free a bit of that, I promise you will feel more energetic. You'll feel more alive. And eventually you'll come into like, um, a feeling of aliveness, you know, you'll come into a feeling of, whoa, I'm bright and alive. <laughs> That's what you bump into, not in special, you just bump into like, oh, I feel bright and alive. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy this and um, I might talk about something else sometime as well. Um, just to change things up a bit as well on the channel. So, and uh, it's nice to relax too, like, you know, it's nice to relax. Especially with all the craziness that's going on at the moment. I think my belly rumbled there. Which was random. <laughs> so I'll catch you all later, okay? Slon. And remember, there's no shit thing.